I started, um, well, as so all things start, you know, as a child, you're interested in art, ended up at, a, at art school um, on Saturdays that I eventually started teaching at. And I just had a great art teacher. He was very supportive, very dedicated, and tried to figure out a career in art. Craft design seemed like an obvious practical choice. But over the years, I mean, after looking at different careers within that sphere, I started doing my own work. And then I sort of moved more into fine arts. For me, art is a way of expression, freedom of expressing your voice, uh, what you think about the world. Techniques are quite varied uh, from time to time. I've got sort of like a, I don't know, schizophrenic kind of way of working. Certain things interest me and then I'll veer off into on a tangent and do something that's sort of not what everybody would consider my style. And then I'll come back to it and then something will happen and I'll, I'll mix those two techniques that I've figured out for myself. Sometimes very sort of classical, mundane, oil painting, acrylics, that kind of thing, but then maybe collage and working with different medium within one piece. As I got older, social political things became more important or stood out more as, as an inspiration. But then I'll go back to things that are interesting like movement and dance and cultural things that are not necessarily uh, a heaviness to them. For me, my ego is not that important. It's up to the person looking at the work, really. I mean, I can put all my emotional content into the work, but it, it, at the end of the day, I'm trying to communicate something to somebody else. I, I do art, but then I'm interested in science and politics, and, and then through my art, I express those interests and opinions, you could say. So Africa definitely has a big influence on my work. Um, being born here and being uh, influenced by the culture of the place, the land, the sun, the, everything about Africa is embedded in there somewhere. You try to keep that um, flavor or, or life in your work that when you didn't have to make money from it, you were doing it just for the fun of it. And you, sometimes you feel like you've lost that. So I think the most difficult thing for me would be to keep that zest or life warmth uh, in your work is, is, is uh, a bit difficult some, at times. I'm always excited about the work that I'm busy on, right? So when I start a painting, there's this, it's almost like uh, traveling to another place or experiencing a, um, a new experience. That anticipation of uh, the unknown. Commissions are, are kind of, um, depends on person to person. The one is uh, using a photograph as a reference and then sort of converting it to, into a painting. And then another is sort of a very kitsch postcard image that I'm going to have to enlarge, which is really, really out of my type of genre that I work in. Somebody wants something from you because you doing it. You know, they've seen something that you've done before and, and they kind of want a Gary Fryer.